In a previous video, we went over how to make these rolled paper roses, and today we're going to use the roses, some twine, and our glue gun to make a paper garland with flowers. First, you'll want to unroll your twine and cut to the desired length that you want. I like to leave a little bit on the end for tying the garland wherever I want it, so I'll pull it through a little bit. So all you'll do is take the paper rose that you want to add to the string and add a tiny line toward the top of hot glue. You want to try to make it as straight as possible. You might get some of the spider webs. And then you take the string, <laughs> then you take the string and place it where the hot glue is and hold it in place until it dries. This can take a couple seconds, so don't get impatient. You can press it down once the glue dries a little bit. If you want it even more secure, you can add a piece of paper on top of this or some washi tape, which we might do later. But to start, this is all you need. As you can see, it's pretty secure, and then when you turn it around, you'll have a flower that hangs off. And then all you do after that is keep adding flowers to the line. You want to determine how far you want to space them out for your garland. I'm going to do a couple inches since these are pretty small flowers. So I'll just take the next flower, kind of decide where I want it to go, and then add the glue. To make it easier, once you have it like this, you can just put them down and hold. It's a lot easier after you get the first one on to just do it this way. So I like to do it so the flower is facing down and then you add the string and then you can press down if needed. Then you'll move on to the next. So again, you'll just take the flower you want to add. Decide which way you want it to go. Let's go this way. And then add the line of glue. Then put it down and place the string across over the glue. You may decide you want your flowers closer together, so if that's the case, you'll just do the same process and put them a little bit closer together when you put them on the string. So instead of the gap, you'll just kind of place it right next to the one before it with very little gap in between. If you want to secure it a little bit more, you can use tape. You can use either just this plain scotch tape or washi and just add it to the back of your flower to keep the hot glue and string in place. It won't be the cutest from the back, but it does keep things in place. So you'll just want to put it over and push it down. And here you can see the finished product. You can see on the top we have the ones that were spaced out a little bit more and the bottom the ones that were closer together. So you can make this as long or as short as you want and do the spacing however you'd like. But in the end, several strands of these rolled paper flowers together are really cute and they make a great colorful statement. You could use them for a backdrop or just decorations. 